All right, everybody. We're here on the uh, Mobile River down in Mobile, Alabama. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about the, the Minn Kota All Tracks and some of the functions. I think a lot of people think that the Minn Kota All Tracks is all about spot lock, and that's one great feature of the trolling motor, but there's a lot more to it. But I thought I'd. Um, I show you guys a lot of the features so wanted to let you know that I've, I've got the 112 pound thrust uh, I got the 48 inch shaft I don't fish a lot of big water so don't need anything more than that but um, 36 volts um, got it on a, a nitro a 2018 nitro z20 and uh, so let's get started the hummingbird paired up with the Minn Kota all tracks and iPilot Link requires the Lake Master map chips to work. You can't use some of these functions with the um, Navionics card or, or other manufacturers. It has to have the Lake Master chip. So one cool thing that Minn Kota did when they came out with this is they made it pretty easy for anybody to get started right away. So one of the big, biggest selling features with the Minn Kota Altrex was the spot lock feature. And it's uh, pretty simple to use. Um, just a minute ago, I had a pretty significant amount of current here. Uh, still got some coming. So to, to engage spot lock from the foot controller, all I do is step one time on the anchor button and you see the anchor button lit up and the propeller light lit up. If I wanted to disengage spot lock, I can hit the anchor button or I can simply touch the controller. And I've, the spot lock is off now. So if I want to engage it again, all I do is hit the anchor button. So one thing, if you look at the uh, my screen here, you'll see that I'm spot locked right here off of this point. I'm a pretty good distance off of this point. But the current, the current is pretty swift right here. The Alltrax will control the thrust on the motor all by itself. It'll do whatever it has to do to maintain the position that you, uh, when you anchored, it'll do whatever it has to do to maintain that position. So it will throw you out of the boat to maintain the position. So you gotta kinda be careful with it. Okay, so another really cool feature is the autopilot. And to uh, engage autopilot, you simply uh, hit the uh, autopilot button and the constant on button together. Uh, Turn it a little bit here. If you look up with the Hummingbird units, you'll actually, you'll see a, uh, your track will come up. So this, this kind of a pinkish magenta colored line is my track. And I can adjust that by simply pushing on the, the pedal to correct. So it'll hold that track. and I can adjust the speed with my foot, you know, with the dial right here. So if I want to go faster, you know, I can crank it up a little bit. And you can see um, the heading on the boat is in green, but my track, my autopilot track is in magenta. So to disengage autopilot, you've got to hit both the constant on and the, uh, the autopilot button, turn it off. So this is another really cool feature. Um, this is track to point. So you can see my boat position is the circle right there. So if I use my mouse, my arrows on my Hummingbird here, my Helix 10, I can scroll to a place. Let's say I wanna like, like right here. You can see my boat position. Once I scroll over to where I want to go, I can hit the go to button 
and then I get a list of options. And what I want to do is go to position. Now I have to hit the constant on button. Now you'll see the all tracks will start to move to that waypoint that I just clicked on. And you'll get an alarm as you get within a certain distance of the point that I'm tracking to. So it's moving me over there. Kind of in some stiff current, so it's kind of a uh, kind of slow moving right here. But again, if you look closely, you can see the boat approaching the point that I marked, that I'm trolling over to. And there's the, uh, it says nearing eye pilot end. So I'm getting close to being at the point I told it to track to. So one cool thing about autopilot is if you are, if you are in the back of a cove and you want to troll out or you're going down a stretch of bank or something and, and you want to regroup, retie, re-rig up with something. Uh, it's a great mechanism, great feature to use uh, that will keep the boat moving, keeps, uh, keeps you moving in the direction you want to go while you rig up. It just makes you more productive. So instead of standing on the, the bow of the boat with your foot on the trolling motor like you used to do with traditional you know, cable steered trolling motors, now the Alltrax is pretty smart and it will track to that point that you're going to while you re-rig. These features uh, I'm about to go over are specific to hummingbirds. If you have another manufacturer's uh, fish finder GPS combo unit, uh, you can't actually do these features. But this is a cool one. This is a, the contour tracking. So you can see my boat position right here in the circle. So I can scroll over to the edge of the green, which is, I don't know, about 12, uh, 15 feet deep, and I can hit the go to button. Okay. Now I'll get some options. One of the options is follow contour. If I go to that and I scroll over, it gives me an option. Uh, it, it actually, if you look close, you'll see that the orange is going this way. And if I wanna go the other way toward this point, this long point right here, it's blue. So I'm, I don't wanna go out to the point, I wanna go uh, this way. So I'm gonna choose the, um, the orange one. Now I can have an offset too. So uh, I can track right on the orange line, or I can track, let's say I wanna stay about a cast distance off of that. Um, I just increase that um, contour offset by, I don't know, about 50 feet, let's say, okay? 50 feet, go back up to the orange line, hit the, um, hit the button to the right to activate the contour tracking, and now, the uh, Minn Kota will offset 50 feet off of that contour and it will track up the contour in that direction. You can see that I put my cursor on the edge of the green but the, uh, the actual yellow uh, contour tracking path is actually out in the uh, middle of this channel that I'm in right here. So that's about 50 feet out from the edge of where I marked it. And you can adjust how fast you are tracking up that contour with your, um, your thrust knob right here. So a pretty cool function. So now, now I'm hands off. Um, I control up the side of this, this bank. You know, this, uh, this bank usually has a lot of uh, lily pads and whatnot growing in it in the springtime. So I could troll real slow through here and not even have my foot on the trolling motor. Really great feature for the iPilot Link. Another really cool function is the uh, 
is the go go to point so track to a point I'm gonna go to a point and then I'm gonna I'm gonna circle that point I can circle it clockwise or counterclockwise and all these functions that I've been talking about are actually activated from the hummingbird unit they're actually not um, the only thing I really activate from the control from the foot pedal is the constant on button right here and I control my thrust with this the only thing that um, that actually the Minn Kota Altrex controls the thrust automatically is when you spot lock because like I said earlier it'll do anything and everything it can to hold that position but this is cool so I've there's my boat position and I've marked a point up here and I want to track to that point so I hit my go to button and then I can go go to position or I can actually go to circle okay and at cursor see where it come up at cursor and I hit at cursor now I can have an offset just like with the contour tracking I can offset I don't want to I don't want to track right down the depth that I want to fish um, I want to be a cast distance off so let's just make this about 50 feet 60 feet okay let me back it up about 60 feet and you can see the circle the diameter on the circle will increase based on that radius and I can go up here and let's say I want to go uh, clockwise which is the blue pretty in, pretty intuitive and I just go to it now what will happen I don't have the constant on button on so let me turn it on I'm on six power now the boat will start to maneuver to that waypoint and when it gets to that waypoint it will start circling it okay I uh, I scrolled over I stored a point I told the Altrex to track to that point and I wanted to start circling it with a 60 foot offset and you can see right now that it is starting it's on the outside edge of my circle okay this is awesome if you have a brush pile marked. Now I've got the Altrex set on, you know, nine on the thrust. But you know, if you're fishing, um, you know, a brush pile or something like that, you know, where you don't not in some stiff current like I am right here, the, uh, you know, you can go real slow around that stored point. And if it's a brush pile, you can hit that brush pile at every angle. So you give your, you get the uh, fish. The, you know the opportunity to see it at all the angles so you can kind of line up on it and find out which is the best which is the best direction and which way they're pointing and which way they're set up on that brush pile so all you do is you you use the mouse cursor or the arrows to move over to a, a particular point and then you hit go to the go to button is right here it's the bottom button right here go to button when the go to button is is hit you get several options you get contour tracking you get circle you get go to waypoint several different things uh, and usually you know it gives you an option to go one way or the other so clockwise around the circle counterclockwise or if you're contour tracking you can go you know uh, either way and uh, it highlights it in two different colors and each one has an offset so contour tracking has a track contour with offset it could be zero if you wanted it uh, the circle function also has an offset like I said if you were fishing a brush pile you don't want to be on top of the brush pile spinning around you want to be off this the, the uh, brush pile a casting distance or a good flipping distance and then you can use your your knob here to adjust how fast you go around it Pretty cool. So uh, I can I can move my my cursor. You know, you can move the cursor anywhere you want. If you move the cursor away from your position, you hit go to. You get these um, go to position. I can cancel navigation. Uh, let me go back I can uh, follow contour spot lock circle autopilot I can backtrack 
a lot of different options right there. And if you play around with it a little bit, it's pretty easy. All these controls are done from the Humminbird unit itself. And actually mine are, mine are networked. So I've got a Humminbird at the bow and I've also got another Helix 10 back here at the console. I can actually control the Altrex from the console unit as well because they're all networked together. So um, just to recap, spot lock, really easy. You can do it from the foot controller. Uh, autopilot, just a, a standard general autopilot, like I want to head toward that tree over there. I can hit the autopilot button and the constant on, and I can adjust my speed with the dial. Not a problem. With Humminbird units, your autopilot direction, your course, your vector is going to be shown on the map screen. Okay? You can adjust in wind and current simply by touching the foot controller. Okay? And it will adjust your vector and your course that you're headed on. Um, if you're on spot lock, which you, you instigate by a single tap on the foot controller, on the anchor button, it will anchor right there and it, it controls the thrust. It will throw you out of the boat if you're not careful. If you barely touch the foot controller when it's on spot lock, it disengages the spot lock, okay? A couple of other really cool features with the Minn Kota Altrex networked up with some Humminbirds and the Lake Master chip is the contour tracking function really easy to use. You scroll over on the map with your cursor, and you hit the go to button on the unit, and a whole list of options come up. To contour track, you can, um, you can select which direction you want to go. The, uh, the course is shown in two different colors, one for one direction and one for the other, and you can offset a distance off of that track, you know, like a casting distance. Same thing with the circle function. I can scroll over, store a point. I can tell the Altrex by hitting the go to button that I want to track to that point. When I get to that point, I want to circle it counterclockwise or clockwise with or without an offset. It's pretty intuitive. If you play around with it, you'll find out how easy it is. All of those functions are done from the Humminbird unit. You need a Lake Master chip. You need Humminbird, you need it networked together with the Altrex to be able to do that. There are four main functions that I use really frequently and they really help me out. I spot lock, which is as simple as touching the anchor on the foot control panel uh, or controller. I autopilot from the foot control panel for the foot controller. And uh, that's as easy as hitting the autopilot button and the constant on and adjusting my speed. And then the other two things that I use a lot, and I've been talking about them, is the contour tracking and the track the waypoint and the circle function. Those things are controlled from the Humminbird unit itself. Really easy to do too.